Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Let me show you how you can set up NordVPN. Whether you just got your subscription or you're thinking about getting a subscription. Either way, I'll leave a link below if you want to pick it up. But let me go ahead and uninstall NordVPN and I'll show you how you can download and set it all up. It's incredibly easy. All right, now that we got NordVPN uninstalled, I can go ahead and download it again. So all you have to do is go to the NordVPN website, go to downloads, click on the option that you'd like to download it for. In this case, I want to download it for uh, my Windows. So I'll click on download app. By the way, clicking the link in the description will apply a discount just in case you're wondering uh, what that link also does. It's not just so that you can go and download Nord, but it applies an automatic discount to save you a little bit more money. Okay, so let's just skip through this. And there we go. I had to wait about less than a minute there. Okay, so now that we've got this window, I don't want either of those. I'll just hit next, install. Here it'll ask you if you want the browser extension. Sure, I'll go ahead and do it. And let's launch NordVPN. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and log in. If you've created an account already, you should be able to log in without any problems. But if you don't have your credentials, well, you need to get yourself a subscription first. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and continue. And once you're logged in, the browser should just give you an option and hit open NordVPN. And there we go. If you happen to have any trouble like getting stuck on the login screen for whatever reason, even though it told you that you're already in, just close the application and open it back up and you should be fine. All right. So this is the first thing that pops up here. So we've got auto connect. Do I want it to be connected all the time? Not really. I'm just going to leave this one uh, off because I want to be able to connect manually whenever I would like. And the kill switch will essentially make sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by NordVPN. I'm not going to keep this on, but it's definitely very useful uh, if you're in a situation where you want to make sure nothing is leaked even when you lose connection to the VPN. So for now, I'm just going to keep it off. And as far as Threat Protection Pro, this is actually a pretty cool uh, feature. It's kind of like a mini antivirus. Let's just go ahead and hit next. I'll leave it on. I don't need the pass or Nord Locker, but it's pretty nice that you get those if you go for the Nord VPN uh, package that's just above the basic one. And here we are. So this is essentially the interface. I'll just make the window a little bit bigger for you guys. And let's just take a look here. Now, if you're a beginner, you might feel like this is you know, a little too much or overwhelming. It was like, what's this and what's that? Uh, it's actually pretty simple. If you go down to the world map here, you'll see a map interface and you can kind of just toggle through and pick a country. If I want to connect to, for example, the New York server, I can just zoom in, hover over the New York dot, click once. And as you'll see here, it'll connect me in no time. All right, so now that I'm connected, as you can tell, I have a new IP address. And if I want to confirm that, if I just want to kind of double check or anything like that, I can go to any IP finder. So what is my IP address.com works just fine. And as you can tell, it shows that I'm in New York because I have just connected to this New York server. And that's essentially how it works. So, for example, if I went over to, let's just say Netflix, so I just want to show you here, essentially, that it says top 10 TV shows in the US today. And it's treating me as if I'm in the States simply because I'm connected to the, well, NordVPN New York server specifically, right? So that's how it works if you wanted to access, for example, a show or a movie that's not available in your location. All you have to do is go to the specific location. So let's just say in this case, and I want to demonstrate this real quick. So if I looked up Friends, right, the sitcom that we all know and love, ironically enough, it's not in the States. But if I click on the London server, so here, waiting until it changes, 
All right, now, once you see the green, you know you're good to go. So now that I'm connected, I can go back to Netflix and check this out. I'll just go ahead and refresh and friends will magically show up because it's now available. <laughs> so if for whatever reason you're finding that some shows or movies or even services, I'm just using a streaming platform like Netflix to demonstrate uh, how it works with a VPN, but any service or show or movie or platform that is not available to you, you can make it available by simply connecting to the right location. Now there's 111 countries in NordVPN, so you can only imagine how much content there is there. So that's basically content from 111 countries, whatever content that you're seeking. Now I want to talk about a feature that I actually really like. This has nothing to do with the VPN. As far as VPN features, I mean, there are a bunch and if you want to learn more about Nord generally, you can check out the review. I'll be sure to link it in the description in case you'd like to learn more about Nord. But one of my favorite features is when you turn on MeshNet. So if you download NordVPN on more than one device, so let's say on your main PC, your laptop, your iPad, and your phone, or whatever it is. And once you download and install Nord on all of these devices and you turn on MeshNet, you'll be able to link those devices and you'll also be able to link your friends. So if you want to share files with your friends safely and quickly, you can do it over the NordVPN network here using MeshNet. All you have to do is just have NordVPN and from the file transfer tab here, you can essentially send and receive between your devices and you never really have to worry about cable connection ever again when it comes to transferring files. So uh, me personally, this is my new favorite way of transferring files between my devices. Since I already have Nord installed on all of them, I can just turn on MeshNet and share files freely and so quick. So you know, provided you have the internet for it, it'll work incredibly well. And that's basically it for this video. NordVPN is honestly a great VPN if you're not sure if you want to get it or not. Uh, look, it works with streaming, it works with torrenting. Um, so if you want to make sure that nobody knows what you're doing online, you know, whether again, you're streaming, torrenting, or if you're on public Wi-Fi, Nord is a great option, honestly. As far as security, it's as good as a top VPN, essentially. And as far as whether or not they collect your information and sell it to third parties, there are plenty of independent audit reports that I've taken a look at that prove that NordVPN uh, do care about the privacy and data of their users. So that's very good to see. And uh, overall, I mean, if you're not interested in watching the review below and just want a quick recommendation, I would feel very comfortable personally, recommending NordVPN to anybody. It works really well. It's arguably the fastest VPN thanks to the NordLynx protocol right here. It arguably makes NordVPN the fastest VPN in the business, even potentially faster than VPNs like Express or PIA. So it's a really high performing VPN. Just make sure they're using this protocol. But otherwise, I mean, for more information, I definitely recommend checking out the review below. And if you end up wanting to pick up a well-rounded VPN like Nord, also be sure to drop a link uh, that will always give you the best discount. Even if you're watching this video later on, it always gives you the latest discount available. So feel free to take advantage of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And that would be it for today. If you guys have any comments, please feel free to drop them below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.